This video will demonstrate the principles of using M-Drummer to effectively and efficiently create a drum track to a song. It is important to watch our MIDI command method tutorial prior to this video, so you understand the principles of some of the methods used here. I'll start by briefly acquainting you with the track I'll be using. Pity the fool, I wanna have to send you right back down to grammar school. Yeah, you know I'm hotter than hell, and I'm gonna vex you. Gonna put you on my spell if you can't. To start, I'll head up to the track menu and select Insert Virtual Instrument on New Track. I'll search for and select M Drummer 1 Out from the VSTI plugin folder. I'll choose Hip Hop for this track and find an adequate rhythm. Don't hate the player, hate the game! Yeah, worldwide. Get back! I'm also going to search for and select an instance of M multiband limiter to make the drum track hotter from the offset. Get back, get back, get back, get back y'all! Get back! Get back, I'll tell you! Get back, I'll sell you! Get back, I'll kill you! Get back, you feel me? The song starts with one bar of silence. I'll insert a MIDI clip here, which can be the intro, followed by an 8 bar MIDI clip, which I will use as a template for the rest. A noticeable difference in Reaper is that the MIDI editor only goes down to C-1. This isn't a problem though, as M-Drummer will still interpret the notes correctly, just one octave higher than demonstrated in our MIDI command method tutorial. I'll label the octaves to save any confusion. I'll draw a note on C-1 for the intro. On the second clip, I'll draw 7 bars of groove and a 1 bar break. I'll now simply duplicate the second clip along the arrangement and add a final MIDI clip for the outro. I'll show how the verse sounds prior to editing. And after an increase of three semitones. With that in mind, I'll edit the remaining clips accordingly. An increase of 8 semitones for the first chorus. An increase of 6 semitones for the solo. An increase of 9 semitones for the second chorus. An increase of 4 semitones for the second verse. An increase of 10 semitones for the final chorus and bridge. And an increase of 10 semitones for the outro. I want to add some variation, so in the three chorus sections, I'm going to add a stop, half a bar in, and a break on bar 6. I'll add two stops in this final chorus, since it will work well with the vocal. Heading back to M-Drummer's interface, I'll click on the additional button and deselect random loops, so I have full control over which loops M-Drummer will play. Now, using the velocity control, I can choose which loops I want to use for this song.
to conclude this demonstration, I will play the song through with the drum track. Twenty thirteen. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Yeah, one on wide. Thanks for watching. Next, in the M Drummer tutorial series, I will show you how the song tab can be used as an alternative method.